Hello there, this is Space 5 Welcome back to our episode 23 of our Polish Let's Play series, our last episode. We pushed a PU against both Austria and Spain, but as you can see that Austria has broken free since we have since recently died, but we now have our triple six female empress. Uh, actually, I did not realize she was female, but sure, we'll take it. And we're getting ready to go beat up England, or great GB, because they decided to break our alliance um, after I tried to claim the throne. And unfortunately, excuse me, they... Uh, they had a Regency Council, so I can't even push it anyway, so it's kind of, it was a thing, it was a whole disaster, uh, where I was at war with Austria with Great Britain as our allies, but I couldn't peace out Austria, because Great Britain would have joined the war against us with, with Spain, um, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. We survived. Um, you guys just go ahead and pull a leader, go ahead and drill. We're all just pretty much waiting, we're gonna wait for our truce with Austria to end, uh, 50, no, I lose prestige, that's fine. So we can go ahead and once again uh, push our PU again. Uh, we need 55. So we got seven more years with Austria to wait. Um, they're going to ally everyone, anyone they can again. And then we're going to attack uh, Great Britain. They actually have 209,000 troops. Would not have guessed that. I feel like I need a third army up there then. Uh, whenever we go to do that. You guys go over there. That's fine. We'll actually need that. Who are you allied to all? Alone, uh, natives, which don't matter. Okay. Uh, where is stack? Uh, I'm not particularly interested in allying you, Aken. I'm actually surprised that you would ally us, given the fact that we fought each other so many times. Uh, that's fine. Oh, you have a queen regent right now. Valios of Valios. Okay. So you have, like, your aunt on your throne. Very nice. Burgundy. Uh, we can concentrate some development. Uh, what? Two... Three. Three, three, one air is kind of meh. That's uh, what I'm thinking. I will actually be able to concentrate quite a bit of development here to integrate Burgundy here real quick. Um, still debating whether or not to put our air on your throne. For sure, because we... Oh, actually, we do have an air. Yeah, why don't we do it? We'll take the A penalty for it. Um, There you go. Lose your opinion. Oh, yeah. Minus 40 opinion for that. Very nice. Oh, well. It's 28 years old. That'll work. At the very least, it'll increase our odds that we get a PU on you. Uh, which I'm okay with. As you get a little bit older, we may go ahead and look to break that alliance. Uh, and push the PU. But until, for now, it's fine. Increase our manpower. A little bit. Because we have fat stacks of money. I believe we have to go build... Oh, I forgot I was in this war. My bad. Hope I didn't uh, do anything to disrupt that for you. We're going to go and cancel that building. Build a manufactory here instead. Manpower. Yeah, I guess wood. Or wool. It's additional two. It's not really anything to write home about. But sure, we'll take it. <clears throat> this can go to Brandenburg. It's yours. Enjoy. I guess we'll go over here and help. I'm assuming Brandenburg is the siege leader here. No, it's hungry. Okay. Avengers Dessert, that's fine. Admin Tech, we're going to hold off because we need to take Diplotech uh, in some form or, form or fashion. Fall. Well, I would have liked to have given that to you, but unfortunately, uh, you pieced out before I could give it away. Give it back, rather. And I guess you guys go ahead and go over there. We're just going to move the entire army over here to make sure that we uh, defeat the English. Um, one time and one time alone. That's all we need. Whose rebels were those? Ah, Hungries. We're not, we're not interested in that. And we're at five out of seven because... Oh, we lost Austria. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll be back for that after we go do defeat the, uh, the English. Uh, which is fine. Capped on admin points. Do we have any inflation? Again, a little bit. Sure, we'll spend the admin points doing that. Uh, it's fine. Uh, no, we're going to decline the money that time. You don't need it. Getting our manufactory, we can go ahead and seize some development, or crown lands. Because um, it's no longer bugged, which is very nice. Uh, other than the fact that I only have one army anywhere near where uh, <laughs> we need to build our troops. Let's go ahead and... Apparently it's been a long time since we uh, have done anything with our templates. 
That'll do. One there. One there. Oh, we're out of money. I do want another one over here, though. This should also get rid of our coalition, if I had guess. Maintenance is fine. Who lacks an air? Denmark lacks an air. Well, Denmark, do you want a, a little marriage on over there? I have the available relationship slots. You do not wish to marry us. Let's go and prove there. Uh, let's come back from Austria. They're happy enough. All right, Burgundy, you're at 73.4%. And many factories are here. But well, we didn't spawn it, but that's okay. It's okay for now. Income has been shot pretty good. Pretty good. No, you do not get my money. Uh, you don't like me enough. Uh, I barely like you enough, for that matter. Many factories are going to take their sweet time going ahead and developing. Unbalanced research, because of Diplo, is going to continue to get worse. I guess I, have, I could be inclined to go ahead and develop for it. <clears throat> Let us go and encourage development here. This is a good place to develop, it looks like. Yeah, I'm just good with deving. Uh, in reality. Seven development here, yeah. Let's go and encourage development. This is Polish. I mean, it's an accepted culture. That's good enough for me. Go. I mean, we got stupid amounts of monarch points, so... Warsaw's already good. Also here, it's all Polish again. Okay, we'll go ahead and encourage development here. Grain provinces, there's nothing really special about them. Woods, uh, another plains province. Okay, we'll go ahead and dev there. And we'll do the same thing here. A little extra dev that is gets up to 66% crown lands. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Here. Do the click. This time it's Orthodox Zealots. I'm actually pleased with those. I'm good. I'm good with those. Down to 71% crown land. Not too bad. <clears throat> we'll continue to dev as we uh, continue to work over the land. Uh, our truce is up. Burgundy is taking a sweet time. We're losing six per month. That seems fine. Coldest period in history. Okay, fair enough. Batch. Uh, we're just hoping that you die in a relative fa fashion. Or in a... Uh, you know, it's... Just... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This guy's great. It's very nice that you can just have some random dude just be a leader. <laughs> <laughs> You're the male consort. Enjoy. What is it? Uh, yeah, we already know female rulers can't be uh, leaders. We don't have Joan, Joan of Arc or anything going on right now. But this guy. He's doing fine. He'll do A-OK -okay for us. All right, so you've won that battle. You have adjacent forts. Great, so that'll take that back. Um, you're going to go deal with that guy. Be on our way. Unfortunately, Hungary is not helping us. Kind of hope that wish they had helped us. Not the biggest deal in the world. We are losing money right now. Okay. I don't think we're uh, too concerned about that though right now. Our clown up passed away. Unfortunate as it is. Oh, we can go pick up another guy instead. Perfect. That'll work. <clears throat> How many favors do we have with you? If 62 favors. Um, I can't really do much about that right now. So. Who's with England is when? Looks like it's already f fallen away. That's what it looks like. Oh, pass. Okay. Um. Conquest for the two. Nah, we're going to take quite a bit of land, I think. Uh, let's go for Cumbria. Well, Brandenburg in, because why not? We 
is going to march forward. That's the first fort that we'll have to take. Not a big deal. Uh, everyone's navy is going to get absolutely wrecked. Where is our navy? Where is it? Oh, it's already docked. Perfect. It's in the perfect spot. In port. Uh, yeah, cannot ask for a better location. Uh, just walk home. How many siege pits do you have? You have one. One as well. There you go. That'll work. <clears throat> Scotland, we're doing this for you. Burgundy will go ahead and get integrated throughout the course of this war. You have two siege pits. Go help them there. And there's Cologne as well, who we're going to try and feed over to Brandenburg if they also choose. Truce with Portugal. I don't think I need to worry about that, right? Calais has already fallen. Great. And you've already integrated your vassal over here. Very nice. Congratulations. Uh, we're going to try and push you back. Or uh, reclaim your land whenever we get the chance. Mm, not necessarily the best fight for us. Uh, your military tech 20 versus our, what, tech 20 as well. Same tech. Yep. Quality of troops is in our advantage. We have significantly better morale. Better pretty much everything. Which is good. Uh, let's go and do an artillery brush here. This is the one port that is going to be stopping us from advancing. This can go to Scotland. <clears throat> Scotland gets pretty much everything out of this war. Um, and Spain is also here. They are very ha happy with us with 172 opinion. Hungary is at 200. They're being integrated as well. The only ones who are not are, you know, Austria. Which is very annoying. Uh, how many troops do you have here? Oh, you, you've, uh... This is level six for it. Yeah, that's going to take a little bit. We were in the money. National Bank pays dividends. Wonderful. It's very helpful given the fact that we were very close to actually running a deficit. And you do want those two provinces. Wonderful. Then you shall have them. Or make the burgers happy. <laughs> for the most part, everyone's unhappy, so that's okay for us right now. This can go to Scotland. What do we want? Form the army. I actually want the Diplo tech cost reduction. I need the 200 Diplo points, ironically. Uh, yes. Uh, just because that'll help us with our integrations. Uh, that's going to be our biggest issue. You guys go there. You guys go there. These two armies just go find the uh, the English to, to fight, for that matter. Mm, yes. The English seem to have rolled over a little bit. Goodbye. Artillery combat ability. Also very nice. Great. You do an artillery barrage there. Oh, we just straight up just caught them. Do an artillery barrage there. Why are there so many forts on Ireland? Excuse me? It's preposterous the number of forts that are there. Let's go fight that English army over there. London's going to fall here relatively quickly. Uh, that was actually a full stack wipe of the English army, for that matter. Just go ahead and start spreading out a little bit. Oxford. All right, there's an English army over here. Let's go and just uh, say hi. I think that's a great way to phrase that. Uh, you're going to go defeat that small, pathetic English army. There, you guys are all sieged. You guys stay in the little 5k stacks over here. That's okay. We're all of armies reduction. Doesn't make a difference in the slightest. That. Go to York. Go there. Uh, that's not great. Why is there suddenly 60,000 Englishmen over there? Just cold. Very good. You. Brandenburg can have both those. Doesn't cost me anything, so I'm okay with that. It warps. Know your alliance with the English as well. Goodbye. 
You are now an OPM, and we, yeah, we'll just keep you ordained as an OPM. There goes London. Fantastic. Did 2,000 men go back to the north? I'm gonna go ahead and start rebuilding these, uh, groups. 85% chance there. Uh, it seems okay. Jump War is doing something. That's fine. Where's their battle? Okay, this is against a thousand troops. I was like, no! Do not take senseless battles. That is not what we are here to do. 18. Is this half a stack? Is that what I'm looking at? Montgomery has fallen. Great. There. There, you've taken that great. These two also go meet up in York. <clears throat> Easily wiping out the English stack here. Quite a full wipe, but you know what I mean. Not too bad. Let's go there. The stack has seen some hard times. It's okay. Alright, Scotland. It's time to feed you. Well, gives that and that. That's all I ask. Incredibly, that is very expensive. Far more expensive than what I think it should be. We have to take in war goals. Well, negative four. There was an army that just got wiped. Another army that got wiped. I mean, that's fine. If you guys want to go sit up there, that's... I mean, you're completely blockaded now. You're going to be stuck up there. Right, go up right there. Go up here. This can go to Scotland. It's yours. Enjoy. You guys are just trying to reinforce. That's okay. Don't know where that stick came from. I don't even know how it's still alive, for that matter. Did I catch them? The answer is no. You have sent my navy out. Where's the English navy? It's elsewhere. 77,000 troops. Let's go stack up 90. If we have to, we can go ahead and retreat back up into port. Uh, yeah. 100,000 troops. Uh, should be plenty. Deal with that. 3-3 and a 2-5. Can we get someone a little bit better? Like a 4-5 leader? Yeah, 4-5 leader. Give us that guy. He's the chosen leader. Dealt with all these rebels. Fantastic. Bye, England. Remind me, I'm just going to try and stack wipe, uh, you know, 70,000 troops. Scotland. This also goes to Scotland. It's yours. Enjoy. You have the straight crossing blocked. Goodbye. Folks can go ahead and go back home. Nope, just dock up. Dock up is the best place you can be. I also want that. Okay, I'm okay with this. Oh, you made it across. Don't mind if I do. I know they blocked us. I was like, if you let us through, bad things are going to happen to you. For sure. Block by that. Come back over here. I guess we'll react by those islands as well. Are you going to block us? Nope, we got there. Only two boats. Can't really do too much against those two boats, though. Just have to do it before uh, Scotland's ready to get integrated. I can wait. France lacks an air. Provence lacks an air. That's great. Burgundy, we can probably go ahead and start integrating you. Uh, concentrate that development. May have done this a little early, now that I'm thinking about it. I thought I could have done it here before. Well, they're still loyal, barely. <laughs> we have plenty of, plenty of prestige that we could have burnt if we needed it. Uh, 
Um, yeah, you guys just go south. That's fine. What's here? 20 heavies? Yeah, there's no way we're going to blow that navy out of the water. At least anytime soon. Um, oh. Oh, we got Spain over here occupying stuff. I'm like, I have no idea where we're getting this war score from. Nice. Uh, we're going to ignore you guys for now. Because what? You're giving me probably additional war score at this point? Yeah, you're giving me a lot of additional war score against the English. We'd like to keep that nice and uh, wrangled in. What are you doing over here? 25 with no heir. We'll send a marriage. You have an heir who's 15 at this point. You had an event. Okay. That's fine. Also, Portugal did lose a war against uh, Morocco, which is most upsetting. Uh, nothing else to concentrate, it looks like. Nope. Alright, no worries. Not in a huge rush there. Vaunts. I don't think we're anywhere near getting that by any means. France versus Austria. Actually, I'm okay with uh, Austria getting that. We'll go beat up France to assist them in that if we, uh, if we need to. This will just be a nice borders for Scotland. Yeah, that's fine with me. Can I revoke your claims on Scotland? Yeah, it's minus 104 because they want our vassals provinces. Mm, keep your claims. That's fine. Bye. Much better. You're much happier now. Fantastic. As long as you're happier and that's all that matters, you guys go ahead and uh, get dropped over in Danzig using the, art, the Navy. That will work. Monthly devastation, sure. Let's go on and go back. Uh, you guys are going to be needed to go ahead and deal with any rebels that choose to spawn. And Burgundy is upset. Don't be upset. We're going to go ahead and just improve relations with you until that goes away. Uh, Kelm needs a manufacturer. I believe it's already being built, if I recall. Yes, it's almost done. It's almost done, in fact. Great. Got pawns of money. Got two ducats a month. There we go. Uh, I will lose 10 legitimacy. That's fine. Our little lassie's doing just fine on the throne right now. Um, let's go and improve relations here. Maybe we can get a royal marriage there. Uh, that could be intriguing. Okay, it's like we're still losing. Or we're getting a singular monarch point right now for Hungary and Scotland. Hungary's about 55. Scotland, you're at 44% after the little reset. Uh, you just have to core three provinces, though, which is not too bad for you. I don't really need the prestige. Uh, hopefully give us some Diplo points. I'd be uh, very happy with getting the Diplo points. Those are not rebels. Are rebels? Ah, they're little peasants for uh, Spain. Uh, you can easily deal with those, Spain. I have full confidence in you. Oh, thank you for the 25 Diplo points. I appreciate it. 38 and 33, that should be fine. If they die in very quick succession, we'll be okay. Ottomans are now a great power again. I'm surprised. You've... I mean, yeah, you've, you've done a little bit of stuff. We've kind of ignored you for a while. Karaman is still around. So is Aku. You've, you've not been able to actually expand that well. The Mamluks are still a powerhouse with 214. Like, Mamluks just... You're a time and a half larger. You can do it. Help out Burgundy for a second. How loyal are they? 53. Ah, it may just be easier to placate them. Placate one time. There you go. Be loyal. Be happy. Be a Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, Sure, send this army on home. They can go to Prague. Use the boats. You guys are drilling. Fantastic. Coming back from Burgundy. They're happy enough.
Denmark, I don't need a royal marriage here anymore. Cost me 10 prestige, not a, not a big deal. Brandenburg, we're going to say no, sorry. Just don't need it right now. Provence looks like they had an heir, or they've died. No, it was not Provence. Oh, it was Portugal. 27. Okay, no, no worries. We're just going to go ahead and break that one, too. This is not a necessity for us to keep that around. All right, Austria, when is our truce up? I would have to imagine it's here relatively soon. It's on us. Oh, it's already come to terms, actually. Ah. But over there. <clears throat> Jack's going to move on over. We're going to immediately just declare. Call Brandenburg in. Yes. Go there. Just start sieging people down. Both their tech? Nope, this admin tech. That's fine. Hungary's gonna go there immediately. Small little stack one, go to Cilia. That seems fine. Small little stack two, also go to Cilia. So this does mean that we're actually gonna fight for Aurora for the first time, and that'll be interesting. We have naval supremacy over here, which is very nice. Brandenburg, you're gonna siege. There goes Burgundy. Very nice. Happy to have you, Burgundy. Bunch of new free companies. Uh, just go ahead and join that stack. Where's this stack? I have questions why this is here, but I'm going to leave it here for now. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Improved relations, AE reduction, all very good. You are still France versus Austria. I would not kill Austria right away. Uh, not very likely to... A very good uh, odds there. Uh, we can go do that fight here as well. We'll fight the Ferrara. Although it's Ferrara and Genoa. Oh, actually, you chose to fight us. Interesting. That we are going to have reinforcements. Uh, you guys are all here. Let's go there. Merge. Give us a new leader. Only bad part about integrating your vassals is that you lose a bunch of leaders. Go help there. Help Spain out. Wiped. Uh, that means this is not going to be such a good battle. The two additional shock pips. I mean, yeah, Austria, you're considered a great power, but I don't think you're going to be around very long. We're going to end up losing this. We're equal in terms of discipline and morale. Okay, so Austrian troops are actually very equivalent to us at the moment. Um, go to Vienna. That's fine. Uh, this is admin points, not military. If it was military, I would definitely take it. Just to assist us a little bit against the Austrians. Alright, so a bunch of Austrian allies are getting occupied. France is at war with you guys, sure. Once did you uh did you want a marriage? No, no, you didn't. You also have an heir now, so it doesn't matter. Aurora Laxing. What happens if you were to die out of curiosity? It's claim on Bigga. Sure. Yo, that's fallen. Now where to? We'll help them against Ingolstadt. Sure. Austria, how's your opinion of us? Still pretty bad. AE has ticked down, though, very nicely. Um, you've lost your leader. On Vienna. Oh, that's like the worst place to lose a leader. On a siege. Of a hostile country. You, you know, casual. Oh, they actually only have 80,000 troops. I thought they had more. Uh, Ferrara have most of them? Yeah, Ferrara's got half the army. Okay. They also have stupid number of forts. Look at that. Like, every province has a fort. Sure, goodbye. 44,000 troops. Would have preferred not to have lost you, but... Also, oh, you, you killed Salzburg. That's actually great. Hate having to siege down Salzburg. It's the although we are getting sieged like no other down here, which is unfortunate. Spain did not protect our three thousand troops. Oh well, life goes on. Salzburg, uh, walk this stack off. Oh nope, you need to stay there. Provide the artillery. 
Not a problem. We're going to take loans. That's fine. Austria is going to pay us back. That or Ferrara is. I'm not sure which. Oh, infantry and cav cost reduction. Very nice. We're going to end up building quite a few new forts over here in Burgundy since they went ahead and sold all of them or destroyed all of them, uh, which is a little unfortunate. There goes Vienna. All right. I mean, three pip leader is not bad. Celia's got occupied. There goes Strasbourg. So you can go ahead and go away. I'm not going to pull an you. Just give me your money and goodbye. What else we got? Mm, not too much. Okay, we'll go there. Level 6 forts. They're always going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, I hope not to have to really fight Ferrara. You can guys go fight Spain down there. That's fine. Mamluks announced us as a rival. That's fun. Can't imagine anything going wrong there. 60,000 Hungarians just pull out. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you're not really needed there. We're also doing a bunch of sieges ourselves. Inflation? Not a thing. Uh, what am I supposed to do with all my stab? Or all of my admin points? I guess we'll take a stab. That'll be fine. And that is all the time that I have for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.